Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Oscar Delta and we are here playing The Dream Machine. Now you probably have never heard of The Dream Machine, and I won't lie, either have I. <laughs> well, either had I, until I was just browsing Steam and I saw that it came out, it came out yesterday, May 11th, so I decided, hey, why not? It was only, I believe it was eleven ninety nine for all five chapters. It's kind of like The Walking Dead, where it's an episodic game. Uh, it comes out in chapters like this, five chapters as well, just like The Walking Dead. However, with this one, the first three chapters are, are unlocked. The fourth and the fifth are not released yet. So, I don't know much about the game. You know, I would give you a nice little introduction, but I can't tell you much other than this little line right here, which says it's a point-and-click adventure game made out of clay and cardboard. Now that seems really cool to me. Um, I, I'm always a huge fan of different art styles and I know there a lot of people are. <laughs> it's usually what makes a game popular if you think about games like Limbo where it was like that black and white grungy style or Flower or Adventure or uh, Botanacula which I had a short little playthrough of on my channel. Um, they always get really popular and they always get great reviews. You know why? Because people are tired of always having these next gen graphics. It's nice to just pick up a game like this and play it. So, um, I can't, I can't, other than that, I can't really say much. Uh, what you know is what I know. So, we're gonna click on chapter one here and we're gonna get going. Cockroach Incorporated Friends The Dream Machine Chapter 1 Get to the chopper now <laughs> Anders Gustafsson Like Alexander Gustafsson Yes, I would like to skip the intro Pick up fishing rod Okay, so this is your inventory if you go to the top of the screen. That's cool. Pick up Shaval. My dude is a badass haircut, that's for sure. Pick up piece of wood. Pick up other piece of wood. Pick up that piece of wood. Examine forked bench. It's a forked branch jutting out of the sand. Cool, that's weird. It's a fishing rod made from a thin bamboo hole. Oh, cool. I place the fishing rod on the fork branch. The fish doesn't seem too interested in fighting. All right, so. we are going to uh, we are going to turn that off. Oops. Uh, hearing aid. No, what was that? Reading aid. There we go. I will read from now on. <laughs> I've placed the fishing rod on the forked branch. The fish doesn't seem too interested in biting, though. <laughs> Okay. Move rock. Ooh, a lighter. Let's make the lighter. Light the fire. There's no kindling. Duh, stupid. What's wrong with you, man? Nothing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. So... Where do you think I should dig? I should dig like here, no? I already <laughs> dig my. Th <laughs> Sorry, buddy, that's not what I meant by it. Ooh, a worm! Cool! So if I put the worm on the fishing rod, maybe the fish gonna be. Yeah, there's a fish! Look at the fish! Come here, fishy! Gotcha! Oh, this game is pretty cool, actually. Okay, we're gonna use the wood on the fire. And we are gonna... Oops. We're gonna light the fire. And we're gonna cook the fish on the fire. Oh, it's still alive? Well, let's kill it then. That seems to have killed the fish. Cool! How do I know when it's cooked? It's changing color. It's not done yet. Okay. Picked up grilled fish. There we go. Look at that. The 
fish looks ready to eat. Well, then give her, buddy. Chase great, but... 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 What's this? How strange. There's a map inside the fish. <gasps> what? A map in the fish? Okay, so... Does that mean there's something at the back of the island? What does that mean? Oh, wait. Maybe that's the front of the island. Maybe it's somewhere here. Yeah! He's a clock! Oh, it was a dream! How silly! Wake up from your dream, guy with cool hair. must have belonged to the previous inhabitants. It doesn't work. The rest of them, along with the other furniture, should arrive later today. These two contain mostly books. Victor's clothes. This is baby clothes. Oh, we got a baby. This guy's really weird hair. Crime novels. It contains an assortment of bedspreads. Elise's eBay purchases. Student literature. The guitar! Yeah. Becoming a stage musician. Ah, oh, don't we all? Once we're settled in, I'll try and get the music career brewing again. Nah, you probably shouldn't do that. Parts of my previous vinyl collection. Parental reading materials. <laughs> Parental reading material. That's porno, dog. Oh, cool. Do I need to find anything in here specific or something? Ooh, is that a monkey? Ooh, telephone. <laughs> I thought that was a monkey. Oh, Lord. Things for the nursery. Oh, hi, damn. Some of our winter clothes. Well, we should plug the telephone in then. Look at that. Hello? Anyone there? No one there. Use telephone. Hang up. I have no one to call. I have no fringe. Look at my hair. <laughs> I have no fringe. Look at my hair, man. Oh, hi, wifey. Oh, God, you are ugly. <laughs> Oh, you're awake. I thought I surprised you with breakfast in bed. I married this? Oh, God! It's about time I'm starving here. Here, let me help you with that. No need, it's almost done. Can you set the table for us in the meantime? We don't have a kitchen table. Square and flat will do for now. Just grab an empty box by the sink or something. Of course, darling. Can you put it over by the windows? Yeah, sure. Jeez, you're getting a little picky now. What's this? Ashtray. You smoke. Crumpled paper. Seems to be remains of a letter. Somebody tried to destroy it, but the fire didn't consume it entirely. If I unfold it carefully, I might be able to read it. There, that should do it.
Can you like rotate this? There we go. To whom it may concern. Oh, I don't know what this says. So this is to whom it may concern. I'm hiding the dead body. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, I don't know what this says, but we can figure that out later. Some little plants. Probably left here by the previous tenant. This previous tenant was a jerk. Clean up your shit, bro. Knickknacks from modern living room. Yo, I made the I made the table, bro. Oh. What do you think of this note I found? Let me see. I think it might be a ha a hoax. It's too good to be true otherwise. I think you something you'd read in a crime novel. You probably left us a present under the floorboards and wanted us to rise up before before we found it. Doesn't the fact that somebody's tried to destroy the note lend it some wonder? <laughs> and he probably did that to himself to make it seem more mysterious. He seems to have made sure we can read it important parts at least. Either way, I think we should check what's under the floorboards in the bedroom. You do that, honey. Is there a dead body up in there? Just sit down, I'll bring us the breakfast. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up part number one right here. This game actually, you know what, is very surprising to me because I thought it would be okay. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Um, things are starting to stir up here. I couldn't read the letter, but based on the dialogue that just happened there, the little conversation with my mutant wife, it seems like there's probably a body or something hidden in the bedroom floorboard. So we're gonna take a look at that in part two after I eat my scrum diddly umptious breakfast. If you enjoyed this, which I did, I don't know about you, but if you enjoyed it, comment, rate, subscribe. It means the world to me, and I'll see you guys in part two. Thanks a lot. Bye.